When I was a kid, I used to spend an obscene amount of time reading these girly young teen magazines. They were filled with young celebrity gossip, fashion advice that was nearly always to just layer your jeans underneath a skirt, makeup tips, um, think early 2000s shiny lip gloss era, as well as hair tips. And I vividly remember reading my magazine one day and coming across this thing called face shapes. The whole page was dedicated to how to identify your face shape and most crucially, how to style your hair to match it. Now, people have been obsessed with identifying types of shapes within the human form for decades now. The most common one that you've probably heard of is body types like hourglass, apple or square. According to the internet, there are many different types of face shape, which makes sense given that there are like seven billion people on the planet. Um, <laughs> but there are six most common ones that appear on the majority of websites that talk about this. And those are oval, round, square, diamond, heart, and oblong. Now, whilst to me that sounds like a geometry lesson, these face shapes have been used for decades to help people identify what theoretically should or shouldn't suit them. The extent to which you believe this is true is obviously completely subjective. I've met people who swear by the rules of dressing to your body type or face shape, and similarly, I've met people who think it's a load of nonsense. Feel free to let me know what camp you're in in the comments down below, but personally, I don't really have an opinion on this. As an adult, it's not really something that I've thought about. However, nine-year-old me did think about it. A lot. And whilst I'm not gonna get into the psychology and politics of why a nine-year-old wanted to conform to be considered more conventionally beautiful, I figured I would let my inner child live their style dreams and actually get the perfect haircut for my face shape. Listen, I know you're confused. You're like, what's going on? Where are we? Why is she suddenly standing up? But don't worry, because I'm here to help. Help you get a free trial of Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for you to fully recognize your creative potential. You already know that I live, laugh, love Skillshare. I have been using Skillshare for like two years maybe longer. We're like that, we are besties. Anytime I need to learn something new, Skillshare is the first place I go and they have never not delivered. This past month, I took the ultimate self-care playbook, Discover and Nurture Your Centered Self by Jonathan Van Ness. After being completely burnt out at the end of the uni year, I didn't really know how to reconnect with myself and this class gave me the opportunity to center myself again. It's really helped me remember what self-care is, what it looks like and how not to feel guilty about it. I cannot recommend Skillshare enough. Whether you need to reconnect yourself like I did or just want to learn a new skill or a new language, the first 1,000 of my viewers to sign up using the link in the description down below will get a free one month trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this part of today's video and thank you to everyone who stuck around until the end to watch it because supporting my sponsors is the best way to support my channel. So. It's greatly appreciated. You may now pass on to the rest of the video. This way. So naturally the first part of this is identifying what my face shape actually is. And I found it weirdly difficult. Welcome to my sofa. I'm currently looking at different face shapes online to try and figure out what my face shape is. Most websites show you an outline of what the face shape is and then some celebrity examples of that face shape. It may sound completely stupid, but I had no idea that this would be this difficult. I even looked on TikTok to see if there was a face shape generator that would show an outline of what each shape should be and then you could fit your face in it and it would tell you, but there wasn't one. Can someone please make this a filter on TikTok, please? Either I've got the most unique face shape on the planet and none of the face shapes fit me, um, or I'm doing this incorrectly. Personally, I'd like to believe the first one is more likely, but... <laughs> We all know my stupidity is the driving factor. <laughs> I realized that I have never actually evaluated the shape of my face. And so I kept looking at pictures of me and Jennifer Aniston and just evaluating our features rather than our face shape and thinking, but we look nothing alike. <laughs> I then decided that it might be better to get an objective third party to decide what my face shape was. And so I took to my Instagram, which is at Eleanor Batman if you 
fancy saying hello. And I asked you lot to help. Unfortunately, you lot were as lost as I was. <laughs> Apparently, according to the people who follow me on Instagram, um, my face is every single one of the face shapes and then some extra ones that I hadn't even ever heard of before. And I started to get a little bit insecure at this point. So I'm thinking that maybe there was something wrong with the shape of my face. Um, <laughs> but it turns out that face shape classification is quite hard because a lot of us don't fit perfectly into one of the six face shapes or we're a combination of two. I ended up calling my mum who before she got her PhD was a hairdresser. She still is a hairdresser. She still cuts my hair. Shout out my mum. But she has seen so many people get haircuts to match their face shape and has evaluated face shapes a lot over the course of her career. So I called her and asked what shape face she thought I had. And after a lot of staring, awkwardly, in silence, she decided that I had an oblong face shape. And this was because the roundness of my face was not quite curved enough for it to be an oval, but rather had a bit more squareness to it, a bit more length. I then began to research the perfect haircuts for oblong face shapes. The majority of the haircuts prioritize layering and a fringe. Now layering is where you take small sections of your hair and cut them at different lengths so that it subtly creates volume. It supposedly helps to offset some of the length of my face. Nearly all of the perfect haircuts suggested some form of fringe, but noticeably a full bodied one. My hair won't do that. My hair grows up and out, which means that it will never sit flat on my head and I will probably look stupid. Whilst many of the articles did say that long or short hair would suit oval or oblong faces, I figured it would be a very boring video if all I did was just add layers to my existing hair. So I decided to focus on shorter cuts. I wasn't feeling quite bold enough for a buzz cut. So I instead decided to settle on what was probably the most common recommendation on all of the articles that I read, which was a just above the shoulder bob with layering and a fringe. I found some reference pictures for perfect styles for oblong faces from the internet, and I would use those to help inform my hairstyle. I've got a giant cup of water in a jelly bean factory mug. Okay, did you want to show me those pictures? Mm. See, she has the same fringe as me, her hair's going inside. Let's do that. You have curl that goes up and over, so yours will go up and over this way. I don't look awful. You have a huge gap in the middle. Look like Severus Snape. What we've decided is that we may be able to give me a fringe, but it's gonna have to start from the back of my head, which whilst I'm describing it does not sound great. I'm sure it's gonna it be It won't wonderful. come from the back of your head. It will be before your crown, which obviously is here. So it will probably come from sort of here, because this is the first I'm picturing bit of... it from here. No, no, it no, just no. Comes... That, that wouldn't. <laughs> You're not having a comb over, love. Calm down. Really so this, this is this is a substantial amount of hair coming off. Your, oh, your... are we gonna donate it? Should I donate I'm it? I'm not sure. It's, is it long it's, enough to donate? What's the minimum? Minimum length. At least seven inches. Oh, maybe we could make it seven inches. Wait there. Yeah, yeah, let's make it seven yeah, inches. Thank you. Donate it. Yeah. That would be there, which actually is is eight inches. Eight almost. inches. Almost. Yeah. That's a lot of hair cutting. <laughs> hey, wiggly waggly. My hair is scraggly. At the moment, I look like I've got like a reverse mullet. Cause it's, <laughs> it's reverse mullet day. After we cut off the parts of the hair that I was going to donate, we then cracked on with the rest of the haircut. This hairstyle took around two and a half hours to complete. So a massive thank you to my mum for sticking with it. But after all that was done, these were the final results. This is what my hair looked like before and after I got my hair cut to match my face shape. I actually really like this. I do think that it quite suits my face, despite me historically in the past, not necessarily liking my hair short, but I think what I was missing were a lot of layers and also a fringe. However, as you can see, my fringe does want to part exactly like my mum said it would. The way my hair grows just doesn't really fit with having a front flat fringe, but you know, we're making it work. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, when I first got it done, I absolutely hated it. I think it's because my mum blow dried it, but I ended up looking like a, a mix between Anna Wintour and Will Byers hair from season one Stranger Things. It looked like a bob put on top of another hairstyle. But now I've washed it and it's had a chance to dry naturally, I do really like it. Having a shorter length and layers to add more width to the side of my face, a fringe to 
cover up a bit of the forehead has helped to offset some of the length of my face and make it look a bit more balanced. For an oblong face shape, I can totally see why this haircut works. Is it the perfect haircut for me? It's questionable. I mean, this fringe was never made for this head. <laughs> but it does give some legitimacy to using your face shape to find a hairstyle. You don't have to completely copy the perfect haircut on paper for your face shape. But I don't think it hurts to consult your face shape when trying to decide what features your haircut should have. I am very interested to hear what you guys think about this whole process. And most importantly, do you think I look better now or before? I promise I won't get offended if you preferred my previous hairstyle. Every comment left down below is a tribute to the algorithm gods so thank you for your sacrifice if you're feeling fun and fruity fresh feel free to subscribe um just remember i have this fringe for the next year of my life because of this video um so <laughs> if you don't want to subscribe maybe just a like don't forget to hydrate and as always give my kisses to your mother